Hello, hello, collective. This is Divine Empress 71. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Saturday to you. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope all is well. So let's see, we're gonna get some uh, some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle and see what comes out here. Mm. I compare others to you. Wow. Huh. So whoever this person is or was to you collective, it sounds like to me that um, this person may have moved on from you or you from them, but whatever the case, um, they've been trying to, they have been trying to move on but uh, but for each new person that they uh, meet, they are comparing this person to you. Yeah. And uh, they are also saying that uh, they miss being with you. Um, they've been um, they've been looking for your your energy in somebody else or in other people, and they are, uh, having some money issues uh, for some of them. Um, they um, may not be financially stable right now for some. And I am waiting patiently. So now they could be patiently waiting to maybe reach out to you or maybe they could be waiting for you to reach out to them. I mean, this could go either way. Um, they could be waiting patiently for the right time, you know, maybe to try to communicate with you. Um, you know, that's, that's, but that are, that is for those of you who would be open to communicating with this person. Cause I know all of you are not. Yeah. Because see, they do want to know, do they still have a chance? Uh, do they still have a chance with you? Is there any possibility, you know, that they have a chance? This is probably, this might be something that they are, they may be stuck. Um, you know, th this is something that they constantly think about for some of them. If they, if they have a, do they actually have a chance to um, reconcile? I am recovering. So, um, th this person could be recovering from the loss uh, of you, of the connection they had with you. And or, and or, they could be recovering from another situation because as we said, you know, the card came out earlier that they look for others in, you know, look for you in others. So, um, uh, they could have gotten into another situation <clears throat> that uh, didn't work out and they may be recovering from that as well. So, yeah. So let's see what else. I still have feelings for you. Hmm, okay. Yeah. And they and they would do it all over again if they if they ever got a chance with you, another chance with you, collected. Um, so the feelings are still there, w whether or not they you know actually express those feelings to you, uh, you know or not. Uh, there is some feelings with this person. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they do want you back. So, you know, and they do wonder, you know, how you feel about them. Do you still have feelings um, about them? You know, do you, you know, do you ever wonder about them? Um, you know, do you ever, you know, uh, do you ever think about wanting to reconnect with them? You know, uh, these are some things that this person think, thinks about. Yeah. Um, I can be myself when I'm with you. It's another um, thing, too, that 
um, some of you um, have a, a very uh, down-to-earth spirit about you. Um, I see you could have been dealing with somebody who probably, uh, you know, they would, they would fake to fit in, you know, um, you know, whoever it was, they was, whoever that they deal with, they try to match their energy or they are try to be what they think that person is looking for, uh, act and, you know, act in a way that they think that person would like but with you it wasn't like that it was they were they were comfortable with you all natural just a you know um they didn't they didn't have to fake or pretend at all you know hmm. mm, and then they said i can't do this so uh it, it could have something to do with them wanting to start over. Wanting, you know, wanting to come back towards you. I think that with this, I can't do this. This is something they, they might, like, they struggle. They go back and forth with this, with this feeling, with these thoughts. Uh, it's like, you know, they could be like, they could be like, you know, like today, you know, I want to, you know, I really want to go back or come back to collective and work this out and, you know, and start all over again and rebuild and, and, you know, whatever. But then, uh, you know, they have another side of them where, you know, they, they feel like that, you know, ain't no way, <laughs> you know, you know, um, and then. I do also feel that this person might be struggling um, to be what it is that you need them to be for you. Uh, that's also maybe something that they're struggling with as well. Uh, when I look at this, I can't do this card, you know. Hmm. They they may know that when it comes to you. Um, a collective, they gonna have, they may have to step their game up. So whatever it they did, uh, you know, to uh, you know, cause you to walk away or put a distance between you and them, yeah, they know that they cannot. If they ever got a chance to come back towards you, they can't come back in that same energy. Hmm. Wow. Then they saying that I can't reach out. Okay, so that must that's another thing then with the I can't do this. I can't reach out. <laughs> For some of them, uh, one reason why they won't is because uh of uh fear of, of uh rejection that you may reject them. Some of some of you at you know actually may have this person on block. You might. Some of you, you know. Um but there's some there's some fear and some doubt here. Yeah. But whoever this is though, they still find you very attractive. They do. They yeah. They find you very attractive. Male or female. Yeah. And then they say you let me down. Um and I hide my feelings. You let me down. Um uh, is it it could have been it could have been the other way around that's what I feel that they may have let you down but um whatever it is that I mean I guess they feel like something you did you know I don't know maybe for those of you who walked away from this person maybe that's why they feel like you let them down because you left them out in the cold maybe for some um but um this is somebody who did not, they didn't, they did not express feelings. Yeah. They did not express their feelings uh, to you. You probably didn't know where you stood with this person because of that. Mm. Yeah. Let's see.
you broke my heart. Hmm. Uh, you broke my heart. That, you know, that could have a lot to do with, you know, the fact that you, if you walked away from them and left them out in the cold, they still hurting behind that. They still in their feelings because of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh I don't I don't know what you want. And I miss seeing you. So uh I don't know what you want, you know, maybe for some of you. Um but see I feel like that for you know, for a lot of y'all, you express to this person what you wanted out of the connection. Hmm. You know, at that time. And then for some of you, maybe you didn't. Maybe at the time, you probably didn't know what you wanted. You know? Um, I This person may feel uh, some insecurity as well when it comes towards you. Um, for some of them, they may feel like they wasn't good enough. Deep down. Hmm. But hmm. maybe you might have, for some of you, <coughs> excuse me, maybe they might have felt like you gave them mixed signals when it came to, you know, them not knowing what you wanted from them. For some of you, you may have wanted from them what they could not give because they may not have been in a good place with themselves in order to give you what it was that you felt like you needed from the connection you know but they do miss you though they do and for some of y'all some of you know for some of you you didn't share the same values um there were some differences here yeah. Hmm. But in spite of all of that, though, they still want to fix things. They do. They still want to fix that. Hmm. Because uh, it looks like since you've been gone, they they kind of had some sort of epiphany. Like they uh, see things different now. And I guess the distance has caused that. Yeah. But... <clears throat> If they never told you, they do love you. Yeah. Uh, because, but it's something about your energy, though, where, you know, they could be themselves and they feel, and they felt drawn to you. And they are watching you, you know, they are watching uh, for some of them that they got access to your um, um, social media, you know, but... They are, you know, they, for some of them, they are not over you. Um, and you inspire them. Uh, you may have inspired this person. You may have inspired this person to change for some of y'all. Yeah. Because, huh, because they, they reminisce on how things used to be. Or how you used to be. And that's what they want to go back to. Yeah. And this person. Has saved all of your messages. All your text messages. Yeah. They. Yeah. All of your text messages. They still go back. <laughs> they still go back. And look at those. Yeah. For some of them. Um. They feel like that they can't be with you, at least right and now, because they got too much to lose. Yeah, they got too much to lose. Hmm. Hmm. They might be in another, uh, they might be in another committed uh, situation. Hmm. But they are still, as I said earlier, they are still in their feelings over over the separation yeah and 
if this person cried over you, they did it in secret because you didn't see my tears. So they may have cried. Mm-hmm. And they do admire you as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for some of you, they may have trouble with intimacy. Um, you know, um, you know, like being vulnerable and, and opening up and, you know, expressing how they feel. Uh, they daydream about you a lot uh, here um, every day for some of them. They daydream about what life could have been with you. Yeah. And they they miss hearing your voice. <laughs> yeah. They still hanging on to you too. Mm-hmm. They yeah, they do. They they still hanging on to you. Um wow. Um and see for some of them, they know that because of so much time that has passed, you may not feel the same for them anymore. Some of you don't. Some of you don't. You don't You don't feel the same for this person. No. So let's get some tarot and then we'll kind of go into it a little bit deeper as to uh, uh, who this person is or was. Um, got the page of pentacles um that came out in reverse uh Taurus Virgo Capricorn mm. this person could got some uh they um you know one of the cards that came out earlier was they was having some uh financial issues um they may have gotten uh, got some bad news uh around you know Earthly matters like money, mm, money problems. Yeah, mm. it's something to do too with um, their their ignorance. They were they were childish and ignorant. Um, I don't know if it was towards might have been toward the connection with you, maybe even their money. But you felt like that this person did not appreciate you. This is, a bit, you know, because with Page of Pentacles uh, being in reverse, this is somebody who don't appreciate nothing. They don't appreciate people. They don't appreciate what you do for them. You know, um, hmm. This is somebody who takes uh, people for granted. They take... The, People and things for granted. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm. Pay, uh, Ace of Swords here. Uh, yeah. So this is a uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Hmm. So you got some sort of mental clarity um, about. This person and the connection that you had with this person. Hmm. Yeah. It and then on top of that, um, this person uh was also because that was in these cards, but it just didn't come out. This person is attracted to your uh intellect as well. Mm hmm You have a high intellectual ability about you. Hmm. This person wants to come back in and communicate, but they want to be mature about it. They want to be clear. They know that they're going to have to do that with you. 
They're going to have to be clear. Uh, communication is going to have to be on point. If then that's if you even talk to them. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, they're going to have to be able to really express, communicate and express themselves fully. They're going to have to tell the truth. Mm. Mm -mm. Let's see what else. Oh, Lord. Uh, Night of Swords and Rivers. <laughs> it's more air energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they they do see you as a missed opportunity. Um, collective, they do. Um, they, they do feel left behind by you. But this person has some ugly ways. They, you know, they, and this was the kind of person, too, that could say some mean and hurtful things to a person. This is somebody that, you know, uh, they just, I don't know, um, and then they would upset you on purpose, you know, be, you know, ready to oppose, and, you know, uh, what you say or do, uh, get it, you know, uh, maybe even, uh, if you had plans, they would purposely block them. Hmm. Very disrespectful and rude at times. Hmm. They, they just had some, they had some harsh ways. Yeah, they do want to come back towards you, but they're, they're going to do it real slow, though. With Knight of Pentacles being here. Uh, mm. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is uh, and this person is somebody who may do things by routine, like they have a, a everyday <laughs> routine. What they, you know, like what they do every morning. Be you know, they they might get up at the same time every morning. The same routine they did the day before is the same routine that they'll do. Um, the next day. And this could be somebody who may be like that in all of their connections. Like they do the same. It's like they move the same. They move the same way with everybody. Mm. And they also figure for some of them that uh, that, you know, uh, the longer they stay away from you, uh, that that might would make their chances better when they come back, if they come back towards you. Um, that may, <laughs> that, I mean, you know, that might work in some senses, but a lot of the cases it don't because sometimes you can give a person too much time and too much space to to heal emotionally and so when they do that um you coming back towards somebody that's they looking at you totally different they don't they you know um you don't see this person the same especially if it's been a, if it's been a couple of years you know now if it's just been recent then it's different but mm -mm. this is a um this is a hard working person though they try to, they may be the kind of person, too, that, you know, they, uh, uh, you know, they might watch their money a little. Um, mm. But this is somebody who is, not only are they hardworking, but they, you know, this is somebody who's reliable and trustworthy. I don't know if this person, you know, mm, they could be this way to a certain extent, or maybe once upon a time they could have been this way, or maybe they could have, you know, maybe there is a part of them, you know, maybe they do have a side to them where they can be this way, you know, 
Hmm. But this is but this is somebody who is just you know they gonna definitely like wait this out you know like truly take their time before they you know if they even you know uh re you know remotely even try to come towards you it it, it will be a while and then at the same time they might be waiting for you you know to reach out so let's see mm -hmm. So we got the Hierophant, uh, Taurus energy. Uh, so this, you know, uh, this person could have a very uh, traditional way of thinking. Uh, they could have grown up this way. They could be religious, but they have like traditional values. Uh, maybe, maybe for some of you, their values could be somewhat old-fashioned. <laughs> um... But this is, this person, you know, they may not, you may be spiritual, they may be religious. Uh, yeah, because this is not, this person does not, you know, this is somebody that don't really operate in the, in the spirit. They are mostly, uh, they are logic, logic thinking type pers people, a person, and more religious uh you know or or they know god but you know they don't that don't mean that they necessarily like you know they live by the bible you know hmm you um maybe some of the some of their beliefs you know may not have lined up with your beliefs you know um um even their social groups, you know, uh, didn't really, you know, you probably felt like that, you know, you didn't fit into their social groups or maybe they didn't fit into yours. Um, but this is somebody who also has a, uh, they have a thirst for knowledge as well. You know, um, they may read a lot or they watch a lot of, um, educational and you know informative type uh you know stuff on tv hmm they might have been married before or they do believe in marriage you know or maybe once upon a time they did hmm let's see oh okay King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. And this is all about security. This is somebody um, you could have been dealing with a mature person, uh, a mature man. He could be older for some of you. Um, but it could be either way, you know, it could be a female. Hmm. This is somebody though they they may do okay financially, but they just had but they just been having some setbacks in their money uh for you know for one reason or another. Because this is all about, you know, this is somebody who's all about bettering themselves. You know, uh they don't like to take a lot of risk either when it comes to their money either. Um they like this is somebody who likes living, you know, a high status type of life. You know, they, you know, um, nice home, nice cars, you know. Yeah, this is, yeah, they, you know, the good life, <laughs> I guess you can say. Yeah. Because this is also somebody, looking at all these pinnacles that's, that's come out, this is you were dealing with somebody who was mainly focused on money more than anything because this is somebody who was preoccupied mainly with money mm -hmm. yeah it was all about their money stability security and for some of them one reason why they 
uh, so focused on money and material wealth is because this could have been somebody who uh, did not come from money. You know, they they came from a uh, a poor a poor family. So so this is why they uh, they really uh, pride themselves on their money and their status, their financial status, what they have. Yeah. Hmm. No, okay. Uh, and we have ten of pen ten of pentacles that came out in reverse. Uh, mm. And the Empress that came out in reverse. And then we have the Page of Wands here as well. So um I told you this person has gone through some unexpected changes with their money. Mm-hmm. Could have they could have had to file bankruptcy. Um, um, mm, something about loans. Yeah. Whatever it was, the loss, the financial loss could have been huge. To to where it kind of put uh if this is a highly motivated individual, this right here kind of put a, a, I don't know, it's kind of put a dent in their motivation. Mm-hmm. Because they're having money problems. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be something to do with a large uh, corporation or maybe, maybe even the government for some of them. Mm-mm-mm. They, um, I don't know, man, because, you know, Page of Wands, honestly, uh, you know, this person, you know, you were dealing with a, um, if this person was older, uh, collective, this person was young-minded, a very young-minded kind of person, somewhat immature, too. Mm. Very energetic. Like let's just say, if this is a uh, uh, if this is a sixty year old man, he don't move like like a, a sixty or sixty five. He moves like a you know like a forty year old. Mm. This could be somebody who might work in sales for some. Maybe even show business. Or either they might even work in the uh, political circle. Mm. This is also somebody who's competitive too. Very competitive. Some of them could be uh, in the church preaching. They could be pastors. Or some sort of ins inspirational speaker. Athletic. And some kind of, you know, performer in the arts for some. Hmm. I, but the only thing about, the, you know, with Page of Wands, too, with this immature type of energy, they, um, they can sometimes gossip. And they like to gossip sometimes about, you know, like their um, relationships, you know, uh, to others. You know, like they could gossip about like what happened between you and them to other people. Uh, this is also somebody that, you know, just to make because, you know, to make themselves look good because they like to be live in this high like status and be seen this way. They could, you know, brag about the sex between y'all. You know, what the sex was like. You know, stuff like that. I don't like that. Uh, but they, but this is somebody who, you know, deep down they do deal with insecurities. Uh, they, uh, 
they come off, you know, as confident. At least that's what they want you to see. But they really struggle with that. Mm -hmm. They could be very uh, overbearing. They, they just got some very overbearing ways. Uh, a tyrant type of person. Mm. This fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries is here. Uh, hmm. You saw this person as somebody who they lack growth. Uh, they could have been somewhat stubborn as well. Yeah, they could have been somewhat stubborn. And and with death card being here, that tells me that yeah, you uh, <laughs> yeah, you ended things with this person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, uh, see, what they did was they hurt you, and, um, they, they hurt you, and that's what caused you to move on from them. Yeah, that's what caused you to move on. Um, uh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so you could have been dealing with a cancer. Uh-huh. Another, uh, more, more air energy is here. Mm, yeah, you saw them as a burden. <laughs> you saw them as a burden to even deal with. Mm. But they are also burdened by their financial uh, situation, too. Yeah. They could be stressed out about that, as well as uh, whether or not they can rectify uh, this situation with you, as well. You know, um, hmm. they got a, they feel like they got a lot of weight on their shoulders, you know, just, mm, this is a day by day struggle, like a uphill struggle for this pe person. Um, but see, they took you for granted. That's what they did. They took you for granted. They didn't appreciate you. And, you know, and, um. Uh, you know, and after you moved on, you know, they thought that because of their, you know, high life and they high, high way of living and their money and their lifestyle or whatever, they thought that they could move on and find better. But they didn't. They didn't. Uh, because they was trying to find, they were looking for you and other people. Mm -hmm. Yep, they were looking for you and other people. Mm. It's a lot of uh, they got some delays going on in their life. Yeah, yeah, they got some delays going on. Mm. For some of you, with this uh, emperor being here, you could have been dealing with an Aries as well. Mm. Yeah, this uh, you know, this is uh, somebody who likes structure, stability as well. Uh, discipline. They do like control. They like things to go a certain way. Uh, you know, it could be an older man, but, you know, it could be vice versa. You know, because um, I did say earlier, for some of you, there could have been an age difference between you and this person. Mm -hmm. they, could, they could be a father, father figure, grandfather, whatever, but uh, but, yeah, they thought that they was gonna move on and find better, but they, but they didn't, and that, and I think that they they was looking at the fact that because of what they had, you know, because and this could be an attractive person, you know, it could be an attractive person, um, but I don't think things is thing, you know, I don't think things worked out the way they they had planned, <laughs> yeah, um. And then we have the five of swords here. Uh, they feel, uh, you know, um, I, you know, they feel defeated, you know, because you know, for some of you, when you walked away, you stayed gone. You didn't even bother to, to look back at this person. Mm. And they feel like, you know, this. They see they self sabotaged. <sighs> mm. They, they have a self-sabotaging behavior. Uh, 
underhanded behavior. You might have seen this person is sneaky as well. You know, manipulative, trying to get away with some things. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they could have a, a, a temper as well. Um, and they can, and, and uh, this is the kind of person that they may use that temper as a form of uh, intimidation as well. Mm, very aggressive kind of person, especially if they don't get what they want or things don't go their way. They could be that way. Hmm. They, this is also somebody who, uh, they resist change. You know, they don't, uh, they fear it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. They also lack communication, too. <laughs> as well, they don't communicate well. Uh, and, and that may, uh, you know, and because they are, you know, cut off emotionally, that may have a lot to do with why they communicate the way they do. Uh, with the magician being here, they are manifesting. See, this person is trying to manifest you coming towards them. Um, mm -hmm. This is also a, um, this is also for some of you, this is somebody who's good with their words. Uh, you know, they are a charmer. They know the right things to say. They do have the gift of gab. Because, uh, you know, as I said earlier, this is somebody who actually may speak in front of people. They could be a speaker of some sort. Hmm. They, they may be self-employed for some of them. They have their own business. Hmm. A very action-oriented kind of person. Uh, mm. Yeah. This is about manifesting what you desire. And since they still desire you, Collective, they are trying to manifest you. Uh, they, because see, they are, they are visualizing you. They are visualizing uh, uh, you guys reuniting again, you know. And and then, you know, and some of them probably feel like, um, especially with this page of ones being here, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't go back and tell people that they are, that you and them are going to get back together again uh, one day. That, you know, or they can get you back when they want to. That's that, that's that ego and that childish, immature side of them that, you know, that's talking. <laughs> yeah. See, you may have saw this person as deceitful, a liar, you know, a uh, very dishonest kind of person. Uh, they, they may have, with the Seven of Swords being here, um, uh, they like to, this could be somebody that like to, throw the rock and hide their hand, so to speak. Uh, huh. uh, they wear a mask. Uh, you know, even though, like, the emperor came out in the upright, for some of you, this person, uh, uh, they like to appear as the emperor in the upright when they are around, you know, people, when they are in front of others. Uh, because it's all it, because it's all about you know um, impressing people, you know making them you know making people see them um, in a in a certain type of way, but underneath that mask, they really are a emperor in reverse for some of them, because they got too many sneaky deceptive ways here. They like to you know. Uh, this is confirmation that they spying on you, for some of them. Mm. And and they also, uh, this is a runner too, uh, when it comes to uh, 
interconnections with people. You know, uh, um, they, you know, they run. Mm -hmm. They, for some of you, this person may have ghost, ghosted you a couple times. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. Uh, because they, when they, with the Ten of Swords being here, for some of you, this person backstabbed you numerous times. This person has backstabbed you numerous times. Uh, collective, they, mm, mm, mm. And, and they have a very, uh, I don't know, um, you may saw them as a bitch. You know, they had a, a bitchy side to them. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm. They may have, for some of them, an inability to cope uh, with things that don't go well. Mm, mm, mm. This is somebody who curse a lot, too. They have a, a, for some of them, they curse a lot. They use a lot of profanity. Even when they ain't mad. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Some of them are a little pissed that you severed ties with them. Mm -hmm. That you said bye-bye. You put the nail in the, the final nail in the coffin. <laughs> and just say adios. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, let me try to get one more. Mm-hmm. Now they having sleep sleepless nights behind what they've done. Yeah. Yeah, they having some day. <laughs> uh-huh. And then on top of that, you know, like I said, you know, they would see they got they got money problems, they got financial problems, and they got personal problems. And um, and they struggling with that. They, you know, they struggling with coping with this. Hmm. They, uh -huh, yeah, they are having trouble with coping or facing whatever adversities that they are facing. They could be dealing with some mental issues. It's a lot of guilt, though. A lot of guilt and regret here on past actions. Mm -hmm. And they've been focusing on the past too much. This could be somebody that holds on uh, holds on to the past. Yeah, it could be somebody that holds on to the past. They don't let nothing go. That's another thing that's keeping them stuck like Chuck. At the bottom of the deck, we have uh, the Eight of Wands here. Uh, so this is about communication. Yeah, they do. They want to communicate. And you know, and for some of you, who knows, it may, it just may come out of nowhere. I mean, you know, um, you're not going to be expecting it if they do decide to, when they decide to reach out for some. Mm. For some of you, it may be during the holidays as well. Mm. Yep. Um, they may travel towards you. Uh, and it could be during the holiday season for some. Hmm. But this is a very uh energetic person though. They they I'm telling you, if this is an older person, they move like a young person. And they and they and they think. For some of them, they think like a young person. They, they, it's just something about their energy, the way they move. To be, you know, especially if they, oh, you know, if they're older. Uh, uh, I'm hearing a uh, young spirited person. Yeah, young spirited. Um. Hmm. But for some of you, you just saw this person is immature and childish. And play games. Yeah. And you saw them as a burden. 
as a burden. And then and, and, and they also know because of the backstab and the betrayal, the heartbreak and all that, and you know, and the fact that they sneaky, they fake, they phony, they all these things, uh, you know, you don't trust them. And they know that too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's get a message from Spirit for the collective as we close out this reading. Oh, we got two. Okay. Let's see what the first one says. All right. Uh, if you are noticing changes within yourself, it's because you are leaving the old version of yourself behind and you are elevating and shedding unnecessary layers. Old cycles are ending, which is what you did with this connection here with this person. Old cycles are ending and new beginnings are on the horizon. You deserve this new chapter. Okay, that's good. That is true. You know, if you are, you know, um, I mean, because that's the, that's one of the purpose of closing out old cycles. So you can begin anew, you know, um, going in, going into a much better direction, you know, and at the same time, making changes within yourself in the meantime, you know, it's called growth, self, self growth. And then we have, um, whatever you have been putting off, don't procrastinate any longer. Tackle that long overdue project. You will feel better once you begin. Start with one thing at a time. Thoughts and ideas, not, uh, thoughts and ideas not acting upon, not acted upon are just laying in wait. And you can do this. That's true. Because, you know, that was, you know, um, something that I was telling my sister who struggles with procrastination. I told her, um, procrastinators don't get nowhere. <laughs> you, you know, procrastinators don't get far in life. You don't get very far. So whatever it is that you've been putting off, I don't care what it is, starting a business, going back to school, buying you a house, buy, I mean, whatever, do it. This just very well might be the season that you need to, you know, get on top of whatever these goals are, uh, collective. Tackle that thing. Don't be, you know, step out on faith. You know, God, God got you. God is with you. God is with us all the time. Do not be afraid to step out on what you want, what you want in this life. I can tell you that for myself. If I was a procrastinator, I wouldn't be nowhere halfway near where I am today. I stepped out on faith. And I went after what I wanted for myself. I prayed about it. I gave it to God. And I said, well, I said, well, Lord, if it's in your will for me to have the desires of my heart, then let it be so. And those things, from season after season, these things came. They came, you know, I had to wait a little while, but they came, you know, because, you know, God's timing is not like yours and mine. He don't move the way we move. He don't think the way we think. So, but yeah, just don't, don't sleep on yourself, collective. Don't do that because you don't want to wake up years from now and have some regrets about, you know, what you could have done, you know. So, but that's all I have for this reading, you guys. I, I pray that it was a blessing to you. Um, you know, um, give me a comment and if this if this resonates with you, if I, you know, may, may have said something that might would be a blessing to you. So, uh, and also thank you guys for the donations as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um... And until then, you guys have a blessed evening, and I will talk with you next time. All right, bye-bye.